All right, this is a stretching video. This will be a full body stretch with um, just some extra focus on releasing the lower back. This should be about 20 minutes. So um, let's go ahead and get started. And I'm gonna want you near something that you'll be able to put your hands up uh, against like a wall. Um, I'm gonna use this fence today. So to get started, um, just get yourself some space. I'm gonna have you plant your feet right under your hips and just stand up nice and tall. Just kind of draw the shoulders back here and then set them back down. We're gonna inhale, now reach the arms up and then open them up wide. So with the arms open wide, we're just drawing the, the hands back. Think about reaching the center of your chest forward, drawing those shoulders back. We're just gonna hold it here, a couple more breaths. And just actively reaching back through the thumbs. And now we're gonna flip it. So we're gonna bring hands forward and interlace your fingers here. And now reach the hands out so it really feels like you're actively stretching. And then bring your chin down, press your chin to your chest. And keep breathing here. And what I want you to picture is just creating space between your shoulder blades and also creating length along the back of your neck. So everything's just kind of opening up there. Deep breath in. And let it out. And let's go both hands up again. Okay, we're gonna do a little climbing here. So we're gonna reach side to side. And every time you reach, I want you to feel that kind of through the outside of your ribs and up and under your arm. So really reach, small lean. Let's get a couple more. Hold it this time, just hold and reach. Point your fingers towards that corner, off in the distance. And now we're gonna switch. Let's go other arm up, reach up and over. Feel that opening through here. And release down. So we're gonna be opening and closing the arms now. So we'll open, think about bringing the heart forward, drawing the shoulders back, and then reach forward, chin to chest, create that space between your shoulder blades. Inhale, open up. Exhale, reach forward, chin to chest. Do that one more time. Deep breath in. And then exhale, bring it forward, really reach. And release it here. So now we're gonna come to the wall. And I'm having you do, I call this a downward facing dog at the wall. Okay, in yoga, usually we're doing a downward facing dog with our hands on the floor. But this is a great spot to release the lower back without putting a ton of pressure on the upper body, okay? So what we're gonna do is just get your hands up against the wall and I'd set them about shoulder height or a little bit lower. And then you wanna be at least arms distance from the wall. So my arms are straight, not bent. I'm gonna be right here. My feet are under my hips. And then I'm just gonna sit back. So I'm reaching, almost like I'm reaching my hips back behind me, okay? And just depending on your flexibility, you may, you may feel that stretch up higher, okay? Um, you may bring yourself down lower, so your head could hang right between your arms. If your hamstrings are real tight, you might need to keep a little bend in your knees as we're getting started here. And we're just holding this one, okay? So think about just kind of reaching your heart between your arms. You can rock it a little bit side to side if that feels good. And think about lengthening through the legs now. So you can kind of walk them out here, back and forth, and then really lengthen through each leg. Okay, so we're gonna come on up and I'm gonna have you step closer to the wall. We're doing a calf stretch. So, just a few inches away from that wall, we're gonna step one foot back, okay? And that's gonna be the stretching leg, doing our calf stretch first. So it's a long step back, keep your toes so they're pointing forward, and we're gonna push that heel down towards the ground, bend into this front knee, okay? So we're just creating that tighter angle, and that's gonna stretch through the back of 
your ankle and also getting into your calf, your lower leg. Just hold it right there. And if that wasn't enough, I would just scooch my foot back a little bit further. If it was too much, I'd just come up a little bit closer. We're gonna hold it just one more breath here. Deep breath in and out. Let's come back up. We're just gonna trade our legs. So set the other side back. Again, really important to keep your toes pointing straight forward. Don't angle them out. You'll come out of the stretch if you wind up there. Okay, so this back leg is nice and long. We're thinking about reaching that heel towards the ground, bending into this front knee here. We're just gonna hold it. Make sure you feel as much of that stretch as you want. Maybe after a couple seconds, it might not feel like much stretch anymore, so you might adjust. And we're gonna come on up from here. So we're staying at the wall. The next thing we're gonna do is really get into the hamstrings. And this is with a stretch called Pyramid. Okay, it's a yoga move, um, often done away from the wall. But this is a really nice place to start working on it. So we're gonna keep the left leg forward for now. That's the leg we're gonna be stretching this time. The right leg, I'm gonna have you step back um, not quite as far as we did for that calf stretch, but I would say about a foot and a half to two feet lengthwise. And then I have my feet also about hip distance apart. So I kept a little bit of space there. I'm not like on one line, so a little bit of space here. And I'm gonna point my hips straight towards my wall, okay? So my hips are side by side. And what I'm gonna do here, hands up against that wall, is I'm gonna start hinging forward, keeping this front leg straight, okay? It doesn't need to be completely locked out. You could keep it soft, but I'd try to really get it close to straight. Depending on your flexibility, you might stay up higher, you might come down lower, but we're just looking to keep length through the leg, also length through the spine so I'm not slumping over. And then once you're here, okay, we've got that left leg forward, right leg back, I want you to picture drawing your left hip back and pulling your right hip forward just a little bit. Okay, so we'll feel the stretch all up and down the back of that left leg. If you felt like this wasn't intense enough, what I would have you do is start playing around with reaching down. You could come hands to your shin um, or even work them closer to the floor. We're gonna come up, we'll switch to the other side. So let's take that right foot forward now. And then the left is back about one and a half to two feet again. And I am angling my back foot out at about a 45 degree angle. I'm gonna straighten both legs here, square my hips forward, hands back up against the wall. And now I'm just gonna hinge right from the hips, okay? Keeping legs long, keeping my spine long, and I'm just leaning forward until I find kind of, you know, I call it like the edge of my stretch. It's approaching uncomfortable. I can feel it, but I'm not forcing anything. And on this side, we're drawing that right hip back, reaching that left hip forward to lean into the stretch. Okay, let's carefully come on up. And we're gonna do a couple more here um, for our lower body. One thing I'm gonna have you do, this is more of a dynamic movement to get into the hip joints. You could be near a wall if you're worried about, about balance, but you'll probably be okay, is we're just gonna draw some big circles, okay? Think about drawing circles with your knee. That motion is originating from your hip joints. So just big circles up and around. You can do whatever you want with your hands. Whatever works best for you. Over exaggerate these. Get one or two more on each side. And that'll be it. Just some nice hip rotations. Kind of get those hips, get those hip sockets juiced up. Um, the last thing we're gonna do out here is a quadricep stretch. So front of the thighs. Hold on to something if you want some help with balance. If you want to challenge your balance, just try to find your balance. So 
We'll start um, with one foot planted and then just take the other heel, the other foot, you're bringing it right up behind you, pulling your foot lightly, trying to bring your heel towards your glute. And then a couple other things, I want you to stand up nice and tall, okay? So you're really tall and then draw your knees together, okay? So that knee's not way out here. So we're tucked in, tall, and now just think for, about pressing forward through that stretching side through your, the front of your hip. We're just gonna hold there. Okay. And carefully release, shake it out. We'll go right to the other side. So here or balanced. Let's bring it up, heel right in towards the glute. Get the knees together, just stand up tall, gentle pulling through this side, then press forward through that hip. So just holding here, take a couple more breaths. Okay, we're gonna release it and just kind of shake it out. So for these next stretches, we're gonna head down to a mat and you could also be on carpet. Just make sure you have a little bit of cushion. Um, we are gonna be kneeling quite a bit. So if, if it hurts to be on a harder surface, um, start by just adding some cushioning. So if you're on a mat, you could always fold it over and then kneel on that area that has extra cushioning. I've also used, um, some folded over towels for this, um, or, or even like a thin pillow is great, okay? So we're gonna start with some cat and cow here. So for cat and cow, you're gonna be on your hands and your knees, okay? Hands are right under the shoulders, knees are right under the hips, and we're gonna move through a breath for this one. So we'll breathe in, Press the belly down and look forward. We're drawing the shoulders back here, reaching the heart forward. And then the opposite, we're gonna lift up the spine, bring the chin down to the chest, and think about drawing the belly up and in. Let's reverse it. We'll inhale, look forward, press the belly down. Exhale, lift the spine chin to chest. I'm going to have you do that two more times. Deep breath in, look forward. Exhale, press into your hands, lift your spine, chin to the chest. Okay, from there, we're going to come on to the belly. We're doing Sphinx pose. This will stretch out your front side. Okay, so we're coming right down onto the floor, right onto the stomach and lining up elbows right under the shoulders. Toes are untucked and we're spreading the fingers wide here. Okay, so almost like you're gripping the mat with your palms. And we're just pressing into our hands. Think about lifting your chin, lifting your heart. No strain through the neck. You could even rock it a couple times back and forth. Think about drawing the shoulders back reaching your belly button down towards the mat. We're just gonna hold this for a couple more breaths. Deep breath in and out. One more time, deep breath in and let it out. We're gonna do a counter stretch from here. So folding the other direction, I'll have you come onto your knees and take them wide, okay? So on a yoga mat, my knees are as wide as the mat. My toes are untucked and my feet are together, okay? What we're gonna do here is just start folding forward and I would start by coming onto your elbows and just get kind of comfortable there. Um, and for a lot of people, this is where they start when they're um, first trying out child's pose, okay? Um, trying to keep your seat close to your heels. Mine will definitely come up a little bit. From here, you could lengthen your arms, so walking them out, and then you can bring your head down. You could take it right to the mat, 
or you could take it onto a cushion, a yoga block, a rolled up towel. Those all work great. And we're just gonna angle it now. So I'm gonna have you take both hands over towards the left. Okay, and I'm gonna sit extra he heavy into my right hip now. So I'm trying to feel this lengthening more through the right side of my waist. And I'm gonna walk my right hand just a little bit further forward than my left. And come back down. We're gonna come up and over. Of course, we're getting that other side. So we'll take hands over to the left. Or, or I'm sorry, to the right, and we'll sit extra heavy into the left hip now, feeling that lengthening up the left side of the body. We'll walk that left hand just a little further forward than the right, and let the head come down. I'm gonna have you come back forward for just a moment, both hands back forward. Take a couple breaths right there. All right, from here, we're gonna flip on over and we're doing um, a really nice stretch. This one you actually could do standing, you could do it sitting in a chair. Um, I'm gonna show you the version where you're laying down on the floor. This is a figure four stretch. It's really nice for releasing the lower back, piriformis, and the hips. So when you've got lower back pain, there's usually some tightness back there. If it is a tightness and not like uh, an impingement, this will help. So hopefully this will help um, just to release some of the soft tissue that's, you know, maybe tensed up in your lower back. So what I'm going to have you do is lay back and knees are bent. So we're just going to start here. We'll do this one in sides. So we're gonna cross the left ankle over the right knee here, okay? And what I would do is I would just start by trying to now walk your right heel a little closer to your seat and then just consciously trying to turn your knee out, okay? And this can be a pretty intense stretch for a lot of folks, especially if you're tight um, in the piriformis. So if this feels like a stretch, I want you to stay right here. If you feel not a whole lot from this, here's where you'll go. So you would start to bring feet away from the floor. You're gonna reach through, find the back of your right leg, and then gently pull your legs in towards you, bringing that head and shoulders back down to the mat. And we're still trying to turn the right knee out, the left knee out. Hi, Daisy. Yeah, it's good. And then we'll release it down. Okay, I usually just like to kind of straighten and shake it out a little bit on my stretching side. And then we'll set it down. We're gonna go to the other side. So crossing right ankle over the left knee and I'm personally a lot tighter on this side, so I'll usually stay here longer. I feel that stretch and it's intense. Um, so that's a good point to make is that know that you're not gonna always feel the same from right to left. Um, and then of course, if you do feel like you wanna make this more intense, you're not really feeling that stretch much, you would reach through, find the back of your legs, gently pull them in towards you, and then rest your head back down. Okay, trying to get head and shoulders back on the mat. So just to mention, um, keep holding that for another couple of seconds. If you were gonna do that one standing, you can. You might want something to hold on to, but you'd cross over here and then you'd sink back. You'd kind of sit back your hips and you could also do that in a chair. So picture like a Marty sitting in a chair, you're just crossing your ankle over that way. That's gonna be pretty intense. If you're in a chair, the way I would intensify it would be 
leaning forward, okay? So let's come out of that. We are going to do um, a spinal twist next, and we're gonna sit up for this one, okay? So I'm just gonna have you sitting nice and tall. Legs are stretched out in front of you, and just reach under and kind of untuck yourself from yourself, okay? So you feel more connected with your mat now. And we're gonna cross the left foot over the right knee. So I'm gonna bring it over, okay? That might already feel like a stretch. A lot of people will feel a nice stretch just holding here. We're gonna do a gentle twist. The way I'd have you start this is, okay, so left hand behind your hip, right hand, you're gonna reach across to the outside of your knee and then gently pull yourself through. So we're trying to turn to look over that back shoulder and stay tall, okay? So lift your head, rotate around your spine. If you feel like you want a little more than that, you could hook your elbow and push your elbow into your knee. I'm gonna have you keep your legs where they are. Just for a second, you're gonna switch your arms Turn to look over the right shoulder. We're gonna come back forward. Let's switch our legs, so left leg long. We'll bring that right leg in. Hold it right here, okay? Um, actually, I'm going to something else. We're gonna cross that foot over, okay? I'm thinking ahead. So right foot over the left. Place your right hand behind you. We'll take the left hand, hook it over the outside of your knee. Sit tall and then pull yourself to take a twist, looking over your right shoulder. You could always hook your elbow here too. Just a gentle pull through. We're gonna keep our legs. Let's come back around. So left hand behind you right hand in front look over your left shoulder we're going to come back forward so we're going to head down um, again to the mat we've got three more stretches that we're going to take down here so i'll just have you roll it back nice and slow once your head and shoulders get there I want you to go ahead, lengthen out, take a full body reach. Think about a long line from your toes all the way up through your fingertips. Big reach. We're gonna bend the knees here, bring hands to shins, and you're just gonna hug the knees into your chest. You could bring your head up or you could keep it down on the ground. And just really gently pulling those knees in towards you. If that's too much, you could always go one leg at a time like this. Okay, hold it for a few seconds, then you'd switch. All right, we're gonna take a reclined butterfly next. So we're bringing feet back down to the mat and we are starting with bent knees bring your feet together and this is just a butterfly stretch so soles of feet come together and we're just gonna let those knees open out to the sides and you're gonna hold it right there just let gravity do its thing here if you wanted to add an upper body stretch you could do arms out wide in a t-shape or Bend your elbows, make kind of a goal post shape with those arms. That's a lot, Daisy. That's, that's a lot, honey. Okay. All right, so that's enough of the butterfly um i think that was my sign okay let's stand back up we're just gonna finish uh up there with two more stretches just to kind of refresh get up here 
Let your head readjust. You've been laying down. Take a couple of breaths. We're standing with our feet shoulder width apart. Just bring a small bend into your knees. Take a deep breath in. Scoop the arms up overhead. Exhale. We're going to fold forward and I want you to stop about halfway here. Okay. And just keep your gaze forward. I don't want you looking straight down at the ground. You're going to hold it here. Now let yourself roll forward. You can look down towards your hands now. Hands just hanging. Take a gentle sway, rocking from side to side. A little ragdoll. Come back to center. We'll just start rolling back up nice and slow. Let your head and shoulders come up last. Take in a deep breath. Let's roll the shoulders back. Exhale, set them down. Deep breath in. Let's reach hands up overhead. Turn palms out. Exhale. And that is it. So that's your stretch. Try to do some stretching every day. It doesn't have to be all of this, but um, that's kind of the long list. I will make sure that I also get you a short list. Bye.